हेलो एवरी एन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्यू एन ए सेशन ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोलॉय सो एज यू ऑल नो फ्रॉम लास्ट वीक आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस क्यू एन ए सेशन एट संडे सो द आइडिया इज दैट थ्रू आउट द वीक वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन यू आर आस्किंग मी इन डिफरेंट मीडियम्स आई विल भी टेकिंग फ्यू ऑफ दम लाइक टेन ऑफ दम मे बी एंड आई ट्राई टू एंसर दम इन दिस क्यू एन ए सेशन सो प्लीज कीप आस्किंग मी क्वेश्चन सो दैट आई कैन टेक दोज क्वेश्चन एंड यू नो गिव द एंसर इन द अपकमिंग वीक्स क्यू एन ए सेशन सो यू कैन आस्क मी क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट section you can ask me question in my linkedin or there is a google form also the link i'll be given in the description so you can ask your question there uh, in in that in that form also so i'll try to answer them in the uh, coming uh, q&a session so now without further ado let's get started with today's q&a session okay the first question is by ibvl raju how to improve marks from 60 to 65 range to 70 plus now this is a interesting question uh, so i think many people has uh, this kind of doubt who are scoring uh, in mock test 60 to 65 marks but they are not able to score more than 70 now first thing is that you need to understand whether the question said that you are uh, you know appearing for the mock test what is the overall difficulty level of that particular set if the question said is too much tough then 60 to 65 score is good even less than 60 also sometimes 59 58 that is good because sometimes i have seen that this mock and this uh, different institution who is to prepare the mock test they used to do a lot of uh, tough papers sometimes some papers are too too tough or too lengthy so that you know you can't solve them within 3 hours so in that case it is it is okay to get uh, you know around 60 to 65 but if the question set is easy and you 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 can understand right after, after completing the giving the mock test you can understand whether the question set is easy or tough mm. then you know you have to analyze that what are the mistakes that you are doing because of that you are not able to score 70 plus so i will suggest to you that once you have given the mock test uh, when you are analyzing please see what could be your you know highest marks that you can achieve from that particular set so suppose you can achieve highest 80 but you are getting 65 so there is this 15 marks gap that is there that you have to analyze that why this 15 marks gap that is coming is it because of silly mistakes then try to you know improve the silly mistakes or maybe you know you are doing some mistakes maybe because of some topics you are not comfortable uh, you are trying those topics because you think that you know them but when you are trying you are doing some mistakes so you have to see how to improve those uh, you know those topics so i will suggest you that try solving more problems uh, of the similar kind like suppose if you are, if you are doing mistakes in suppose decidability of automata theory then try to solve more decidability problem from previous year questions or from from other sources also whatever is available for you and try to improve improve those topics so that you know you can do well on that particular topic then your mistakes uh, you know mistakes won't happen in the upcoming upcoming uh, exams and then your marks will be uh, getting getting increased till 70 or 70 plus okay. so next question is by rohit i have finished the syllabus in november now i am taking topic test two subjects per week from monday to friday subject test on the saturday and revision on the sunday planning to complete topic and subject test by 15th jan and planning to give full length mock test from 15th jan is that fine what you suggest uh, i i am okay with the way we have you have planned the way you have planned the topic wise test uh, subject wise test and uh, you are trying to finish it by 15th jan and then try to give the full length test from, from 15th jan but i will suggest one thing here that you know please make sure that you are not giving full length test till you know the last week of gate exam so please allocate last 10 days or 7 days uh, where you won't give any mock test you will be analyzing your mock test that you have given whatever mistakes you have done whatever the questions you have solved uh, you will see all the previous year questions and you will revise all the topic so please don't give any mock test for the last 10 days or 15 uh, 7 days that before the gate exam uh, because i personally feel that that time you shouldn't give any mock test because then your mind will be biased towards, towards the you know mock test questions so plan accordingly you can give the full length test from 15 but try to finish it at least 10 days before the gate exam so that you know you get 10 days for the revision purpose so keep in mind this one otherwise your uh, strategy is uh, well enough yeah next question is by n bharati how ec student can prepare for iisc mtech ai written interview after gate what actually professor want from student uh, during uh, during interview how to prepare for mathematics do they ask proofs what about coding for non csc student 
yeah for written and interview test yeah coding was not there uh, till my time uh, so whatever wherever they, they are taking interviews that, that was just interviews but recently they have introduced this coding test so you have to prepare a bit uh, about the you know basic codings in C, C programming and I think no need to worry after get whatever time will get uh, so please practice some of the basic coding problems from whatever platform available I think uh, you will be able to able to solve that because after get there will be around two months of time that is enough and regarding mathematics okay huh, for for AI and uh, ML uh, so uh, so for AI and ML uh, this kind of interview so they will ask you from basic probability and linear algebra I don't think for MTech they will ask proof so they will ask basic concept from probability and linear algebra and that you have to prepare for and that will be sufficient to crack the interview next question is by Superno Banerjee sir can you give a roadmap for instrumentation engineering student to become research scientist in fan company and his next question is now that IIT Delhi has started MTech and PhD AI Minds course which should be more preferred between IISC and IISC Bangalore and IIT Delhi so see I mean uh, what what I know uh, that if you are from any non CSE background and if you want to get into this um, big uh, companies like Amazon Google this kind of companies as a research scientist so first of all to be research scientist you need to do a PhD in the computer science because like a company like Google they won't allow you to become research scientist in Google until unless you have a PhD degree so what you need to do is you need to enroll any of the IITs uh, for your PhD and then complete the PhD and then only you will get a chance to you know appear for the interview for research scientists so until unless you do a PhD that yeah, till date what I know it's not possible to become research scientist in Google and I think for other other similar companies that you have mentioned and now uh, regarding IIT Delhi and IISC I personally feel that if you want to pursue your career in uh, in uh, artificial intelligence machine learning IIT Delhi is a better place than IISC uh, now there is a there is a catch that if you want to do mtech only then you can join any of them there is not much difference but if you want to pursue your phd i'll suggest you to join iit delhi because iit delhi have better professors in machine learning domain than iisc until that maybe it will it will change in future but in, uh, standing current date uh, iit delhi is better than iisc in machine learning and ai next question is by bijay does gap year affect your chance of getting PhD admission in IISC? If you have get AIR1, will it ensure admission? Obviously, I mean, first of all, if there is a year gap also, so it won't, it won't cause any problem uh, to get a PhD admission in IISC. I mean, if you have a reasonable gap, I mean, if you have five years gap, then you have to justify to the panel that why you have five years gap. But one or two years gap, that is uh, not that problem. Uh, you can take one year or two year gap for your gate preparation like I have taken uh, my, I have taken I have around one and a half year gap for my gate preparation and that that has never created any problem in my in my placement interview also or for PhD PhD enrollment so that don't create any problem and obviously if you have AIR one then there is no no question of uh, any kind of problem so you will you will immediately get into admission of any of the colleges in in India question is by Ananna please share some tips how to cover COA C computer network subjects uh, for C and computer networks I personally feel there are still some resources available like you can read the books for uh, C and computer networks like Farhausen is there, so Tannenbaum, there are some standard books is there and there are some lectures also available, NPTEL lectures and all so I would suggest you to you know uh, go for go and read those uh, books and read those uh, lectures, uh, follow those lectures uh, for C and uh, computer networks and per particularly for C I think you need to solve also, I mean you need to practice uh, the, the C coding I mean, I'm not saying typing in the computer. I mean, you have to you have to solve in the paper different C problem and see how how the flow is going on the computational flow, how how coding flow is going on, how the variables are changing and all that you need to practice. But problem is in computer organization and architecture. Uh, the problem is that there is no such standard resource available for this particular subject. So I'll suggest you that you know whatever topics you are getting, try to search in the Google. Like suppose you are studying cache memory. So try to search cache memory PDF or cache memory, cache memory lecture notes. So you'll get good lecture notes from different uh, better colleges like universities like uh, around the world 
like top universities in USA, UK. There are many many colleges. Their lecture notes is available in PDF format. So try to read those uh, those PDFs and there are some questions at the end of those lecture notes. Try to solve them. So I have personally followed this this technique and I got this idea from one of the tutor tutor in in the coaching institution that I was studying. So try to follow this whatever whatever particular topic you are you are you are studying. Try to search them in 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 the Google like suppose hazards in pipeline. So search hazards in pipeline tutorial or lecture notes so you'll get a lot of pdfs and try to follow them so this is the only way i feel that you have to follow for computer organization and try to solve much more puiqs uh, in, in in this particular subject so that you get an idea how to solve those questions next question is by rishi does the year gap matter in the mtech placement if yes then why what else can we do to get a job with a good package after having year gaps no year gap doesn't uh, make any problem in in any company so as i said that i had around one and a half year year gap um, for my gate preparation but nobody has asked me this question so i was open to you know appear for any of the companies and i personally feel that until unless you have a long gap like four or five years no company will ask you any questions and uh, these two years one year one and a half year gap that that won't create any problem so yeah it won't it won't create any problem for your for your uh, mtech placement and your second question was um, that you know how to get a good job uh, job with good uh, good package after having year gap so it it's up to you how you're performing year gap won't, won't create any matter so if you can perform well in the company who is giving better package in their interview if you do well then you will you will get it so year gap or any gap in your career that won't create any any problem next question is by bismith sende why did you left isro which is dream company of many of us uh, i'll make a separate video uh, regarding this i mean i i don't think that just giving an answer to this particular question will be sufficient that may convey some misinformation uh, i and i don't want to misguide anyone uh, so i'll make a separate video regarding this topic and where i'll discuss all the parameters that made me take this decision to leave isro so please wait for this so i'll be making uh, videos regarding isro very soon so i'll just trying to cover the gate part and then i'll be moving to isro next is uh, for inspiration purpose i was asking this question that why did you choose synergy uh, why not big mnc okay so currently i'm working as, as, a, as a research scholar in iit kharagpur and my group name is complex network research group that is synergy and he's asking me why i have uh, joined synergy why not very very many any big company so that is uh, you know it's my priority that you know i'll be going for phd and the particular topic i was doing research in iisc uh, the mtech uh, so in that particular topic iit kharagpur there is a professor who is very famous who is very renowned uh, so that's why i joined here as a iit kharagpur uh, as a, as a research scholar in iit kharagpur and obviously after phd maybe i'll be going to big mnc but because just because i want to do the phd that's why i joined here and i didn't uh, go for any big mnc does google uh, apple fang visit iisc for uh, good placement yeah google has uh, visited our campus during my time and uh, it has selected i think two people from our batch uh, other companies like amazon used to visit but apple never visited iisc uh, so yeah it's it depends actually you know maybe it will change maybe next year they will visit so it it's not fixed that every every company will visit every year so it varies so it year to year it will vary that which company will visit the campus how is like after iisc it's good uh, i have learned a lot from iisc and it made me you know it it actually inspired me to do research because i personally feel iisc course structure is much more inclined towards uh, research direction so it 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 actually you know it motivated me to do research because i had done a quite a uh, quite a li quite a lot of research during my mtech and i had a paper also in my mtech so that's why you know i took this decision to go for the phd and yeah it's good our life after isc is very good and you know, i'm i'm very happy and privileged that i have done my mtech from isc yeah that's it about today's q and a session i tried to answer eight questions from uh, whatever you asked and whatever remains i'll be trying to answer them in the upcoming upcoming weeks uh, q and a session 
and I don't want to make this video unnecessarily lengthy so that's why I'm keeping it short and I'm just uh, stopping it here so please asking me questions so if you, you can ask me questions in LinkedIn uh, the link of my Facebook page and Facebook profile also there you can ask me questions there also you can ask me questions through that Google form so I'll be giving the link in the description so please go there and ask your questions and I'll be happy to answer them so please uh, you know keep asking me questions so that i can take those questions and uh, discuss them in the coming weeks uh, q a session so that's it guys that's it about today's q a session so if you like the video please like it so that my video get more more reach and comment your question in the comment section that is also will help the video to reach to other 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 students and if you are new to this particular channel uh, so please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly so that's it guys that's it for today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye